Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy JDRFT and welcome back to another pretty crazy video. Today we're going to be talking about Zombies Chronicles 2 and why it shouldn't be in Cold War. So I just want you guys to hear me out on this. So Zombies Chronicles 2 has been such a popular topic ever since like 2018, 2019 when there was leaks of it coming to Black Ops 4 and everybody just wanted to have it. But like, you know, Black Ops 4 is not a good game. So I'm assuming we didn't get it in Black Ops 4 because of that reason. I'm not too sure. And then there was leaks that it was going to come out in uh, Black Ops Cold War, which came out in 2020. So, you know, the community was all over the place making all these different uh, speculations based off of the leaks that we've seen but now we actually have a little bit of evidence of zombies chronicles 2 coming out but i'm not here to tell you guys whether it's real or not it's just more about what i think should happen with zombies chronicles 2 and how it should be released now it's no surprise that zombies chronicles 1 became such a huge hit back in 2017 and became the number one most best-selling dlc in the playstation store the dlc came with eight fan favorite maps such as nocturne Toden, varok shironuma Kino Der Toten, Ascension, Shangri-La, Moon, and my favorite, Origins. But remember guys, before this, we got such a great Black Ops 3 cycle with the maps Shadows of Evil, The Giant, Derizen Drac, Zetsubo no Shima, Gorakrovi, and Revelation. Now, if you combine all of these factors together with the Black Ops 3 life cycle and Zombies Chronicles, you get basically a year over worth of Zombies content, which is just amazing guys. This is why 2016 and 2017 was such a great life cycle for Zombies because we just had so much content coming. Not to mention, everything was just perfect about it. The maps were great, the characters were great, the story was great, and everything just felt kind of put together at that point. Now, let's fast forward to 2022. Uh, we got uh, not the best zombies experience as of what we have. You know, we have Vanguard. Um, yeah, we don't talk about that. Uh, we got Cold War, which is actually not that bad. It's just I feel like they could definitely tweak some minor things, such as the storyline and the characters, as they're not that very interesting personally. But the gameplay is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. Moving on to the main point, even though I do enjoy Cold War and I do think it's a pretty decent game, I just personally think Zombies Chronicles 2 wouldn't fit with it. We know that in Zombies Chronicles 2, we would most likely get a remaster for Die Rise, Buried, and Transit. With this, that means the Victus crew has to come back, and Cold War wouldn't really fit that with the whole operator system. Now we know that Cold War has the Dark Aether concept, and you know, the Victus crew could kind of go together, like Treyarch could make something out of their ass and just put it together, but personally, I just would prefer if they didn't do that. I feel like if they put it into COD 2024 or COD 2025, they'll have enough time to make such a solid storyline that's better than Cold War personally, because I feel like it's not as appealing as the other COD games, or even better, if they put it even later, that means we could have a full cycle of COD Zombies in 2024, and then have a release date come out in 2025, similar to how they did it in Black Ops 3. Now I know it's going to be a long time until the game comes out, but I personally think that would be the best option for us fans and Treyarch. They have to work on many bugs and glitches and it would be a great thing to fix it so we don't have the same issue with Vanguard, not to mention that we could definitely have a huge hype train going on until the time being. We could also get better graphics or even a new engine on the PS5 in 2024 or 2025 which could be such a phenomenal experience. And hey, maybe they could surprise us with even more maps than we expected, which could be such a great plot twist. I personally don't see a reason why we shouldn't wait as the benefits weigh over the cons. Not to mention, we could also get a better solid experience with campaign and multiplayer, which will make the game better overall. But yeah guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy and want to talk about it more, you definitely could leave a comment down below and start a discussion. Uh, if you guys want to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be great. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Pa -pa -pa. Peace.